Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Kim with your reading. This reading is for the second half of November. So for that second half, those two weeks. So let's get into your reading using Osho Zen Tarot. Your last few readings have been extremely well. So I'm kind of looking forward to this, Sagittarius. Um, we're also going to pull from the Surrealist Tarot uh, to clarify. And let's see. So, Celtic Cross for Sagittarius for the last half of their month. Asking their spirit guides and their angels to join us. So, the messages are always for your most high. <clears throat> and this deck, I will tell you, is a little bit different than other tarot decks because, well, the Osho Zen um, tarot guidebook is what sometimes I can come up, you know. The, the meanings will sometimes come from that and sometimes a little mix of the um, regular classic tarot meanings. But so is the surrealist tarot. I mean, that's just kind of how it is when you get anything that's different than classic tarot. <clears throat> so these are open to uh, intuition, I guess. Interpretation of their intuition. <laughs> All right. Osho Zen Tarot messages Sagittarius on the bottom yay yay on the bottom we have the card that really strand stands for this breakthrough truth clarity that you're getting oh that's nice okay so yeah so look your own energy is what you got to start putting a little bit more into <clears throat> Oh, wow. You might be getting some help. See, your readings have just been great. Great. All right. So, a big part of your reading is involving trust. Um, but it was based on a past offer or opportunity. Um, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Usually this is getting some movement in. Um, I have the Ace of Pentacles. It's the challenge or it was a challenging situation here, past energy, Meaning that, you know, the readings that I've done for you all thus far have showed lots of really promising good things, especially in regards to your finances and stability, safety, security, the whole thing. Um, that's that opportunity. So <clears throat> what is it then that shook you up? I feel like this card means you got all shook up with the uh, King of Cups. Because you have the four of wands as the challenge, and that's your own energy that stands for movement and fiery, pursuing something forward. So what made you upset? Oh, okay. At the heart of the matter, there was a huge move that wasn't necessarily all your idea, and that is what's at the heart of the matter. I don't think you should worry too, too much because I just think you don't have all the information um, uh, regarding why you feel a certain way, especially with this Queen of Swords, this is still that undecided energy. So it's like not enough information, um, still undecided energy, but it's okay. Like I said, this can be business or romantic proposal. The, uh, world card is up there as the crowning energy. So something did go really well. And complete it into a new chapter. So this is something that's a little bit um, higher vibration experience than what you've had before. It involves your soulmate or meeting your soulmate or just still reminiscing. And um, the Six of Cups is really about, a, truly it can be about the opportunities presented within the family networks or soul family. Uh, the Six of Swords is in the spot for your hopes or fears. In the guidebook, this is about carrying a bunch of things that really you don't need to carry and therefore they're just a burden. So, 
because you can see this guy's trying to like ride on his back and tell him where to go. So yeah, the Six of Swords is about really just going towards more positive thinking. Um, the star energy in reverse for with the Knight of Swords in reverse. I still think it has to do something with the decision and not having quite enough information. But, yeah, and the reason why it's frustrating is because something's just not changing as quickly as you want it to. Yeah, and so I get that. Um, let's do some more clarification then for your reading, Sagittarius. Let's go, let's go towards this four of wands in the reverse. What is this about? Sometimes it's about new commitment. Sometimes this is about really just making a big move. <clears throat> Tell me about the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. So it, it is a big move that involves, you know, your Ace of Pentacles. Actually, it's kind of tying those two together, those cards together. Um, and, and also the King of Pentacles is really good with money. Um and not not just money, but money plus the commitment that it takes, plus the business factor, plus, you know, all of that stuff. It could be like a, a really uh, big entrepreneur in your family. Or the main person that keeps everything together, including like the main finances. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and that can be anybody's energy. All right, so the Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, how you feel. You feel like um, there can be more, like there needs to be work on whatever this family, well, I'm going to say I'm really leaning towards either getting along with other family members, needing more information like that, but I think it has to do with your Pentacles. So I really think it. I'm leaning towards business on this Um just because of that being the uh, pentacles. Not to say that it's not something that maybe um, has you, you know, kind of like, um, I don't know, shock of the new. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. What's this uh, decisiveness or something about undecided? What is that about with the Queen of Swords in the reverse? The full energy. So taking, um, having this leap of faith, taking a chance, um, the whole journey, you know, begins with that little step. So that's kind of what this card is bringing about. It's something that's, um, well, it's in your environment. So it's an opportunity. If you're undecided, it's an opportunity for a lot of adventure. And the world card is indicating that it might just be that final puzzle piece that you were looking for. And therefore, having a breakthrough, right? So, tell me um, how... Let's try to get, you know, spirit advice here for this King of Cups in reverse. Because this can be just, like, excited. You know what I mean? Like, it could be... Um, shock, yeah, shock of something great that you created with the magician. You just have to get that fiery energy because, look, Sagittarius, your card is right here, but it's at the challenge. So, it really, you have the magician energy. You have um, very similar reading to Leo's. Um, Let the Magic Begin was their um, title. And I think, I think this is going towards that direction, too. <clears throat> the um, Knight of Swords in the reverse with the star in the reverse. Tell us about that. <clears throat> And you're probably just thinking about a lot of memories or we'll be having a lot of nostalgia. That's the Queen of Swords again in the reverse. There's still some family things that you are undecided about because we're waiting for a significant change. It's good, Sagittarius. It's good. It just, um, it, it might require that um, you just be really careful with this decision. And know that you have the magician. Look, see, it's time for you to manifest what you're wanting to manifest. 
the hangman in reverse. The four of pentacles means you can save a lot and build on your financial um, structure or your personal growth and development. Because the waiting period is up for you to make a decision or will be, you know, time, time to make a decision is that's what that means. Wow. And the moon energy on the bottom. <clears throat> Ooh, and we got the, um, well, it's funny because in Osho Zen Tarot, this is, it is the emperor card, but they call it the rebel. So. So it's like doing something, having a breakthrough and um, really getting somewhere. I like that, guys. I like that. So let's read from the um, Modern Goddesses. No, Modern Goddess Oracle. Modern Goddess Oracle. Beautiful deck. Sekhmet. Tesson We. And Morgan on the bottom. All right, <clears throat> Tess on we set met. All right, it says the key word is strength. Um, the symbol, the lion, the sun, the eye of Horus, the ankh, the skulls, the affirmation here says, I am stronger than even I might realize. So Sekhmet is one of the oldest and most powerful Egyptian deities. That's from that book. Um, you can, I don't remember where you, I think it's Amazon that you can get off of, but you could try, probably Etsy would have it too. Um, Sekhmet is one of the oldest and most powerful Egyptian deities, a warrior goddess whose name means powerful one. All right, so she represents both war and healing. And a fierce example of how feminine strength is and how strong it is, basically, and how it can be used to create or destroy. And that's kind of like the dang tower card. You know, it's some, it could be a self, you know, thing. Uh, Tess on we. Tess on we. Okay, this is the, um, this is the, uh, let's see here. Tessonwi is the goddess who brought the sacred ceremonies to the Sioux and Lakota people of North America. So she's known for like, um, well, the symbol, the buffalo, the ceremonial pipe and beads. Um, it says she gave the people many gifts, relieved them of famine and taught them of the civilization's arts. She is also a healer who comes to help during critical situations. So that's what I got for you. Um, it sounds really good. Remember, you have the magic and just step into that fiery you. You'll have, it looks like, a really great second half of your month. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye, Sagittarius.